All right guys, one of the first things you wanna do when you have an oak barrel that is brand new is make sure that hole in the top is the right size so you can get the liquor and the beans in and out of that top part there. So in this case, I went ahead and drilled a larger hole using a drill bit uh, so I can, uh, so that works well. All right, once you have that done, that's all you need to do. Maybe you already have a large size. Next step, go right into pouring a, at least about a gallon of water through the oak barrel. In this case, I have about a two gallon uh, barrel. So I poured about half of it full of water. Go ahead and put the top on it. Once the top is on there, go ahead and give it a good shake. What this does is it seals up the oak, it swells the wood, allowing the liquor and the product that you can put in next uh, to not leak out. So the next step after that is to go ahead and pour that water out. You don't have to leave it in very long, just a few minutes until it's not leaking out the sides. Next is you get to put the, the liquor of your choice in the barrels. Whatever this ends up smelling like is kind of how your coffee will taste or have, have that kind of taste that you want. So in the case of this video, I'm using rum. You can use whiskey, scotch, different types of rums. You can mix them, moonshine, you name it. So I've already done several different whiskey batches. And so for the sake of this video, I decided to go ahead and use some rum and to try just straight rum. Once you get about a, I, don't, I would say uh, you can use a whole bottle. Um, you can use half a bottle. Just get it so it's probably a quarter full. Uh, you just want to get that product moving around the the bottle, uh, the barrel. All right. So once you have that done, go ahead and let it sit for uh, several days. Uh, so you can see here that I'm explaining kind of uh, that it's just going to sit there for three to five days. Um, check in out every day to kind of shake it up a little bit, and then we'll come back in about uh, three to five days and dump the product out and go to the next step of the. Um, process of making uh, whiskey coffee. All right, now we take the product and dump it out of the barrel. It's been a few days um, and you can reuse this stuff too. So not a lot of it has been evaporated or anything. It's gotten into the walls of the oak barrel. So go ahead and dump it out and uh, filter it if you'd like. So you can see here, once I'm done, um, here's my product over there and I'm gonna go ahead and filter it and reuse it. So I'm just pouring it through this filter uh, system and I pour it back into a whiskey jug. Just like that. And I'll use that for my next barrel. Now the final step is you want to go ahead and wait several days until the whiskey bar the, the barrel is dried out. You do not want it to be wet inside. And once you've done that, then you just pour the beans in and you shake it up. So I would say about half full and put the top on it and let it sit for about oh, three weeks. And once you've done that, you're ready to go. After three weeks, you can roast uh, in small batches or the whole thing all at once, depending on the size barrel that you have. So enjoy, let me know how it works out. It's really not that difficult. Give it a shot. Thanks for watching.